All right, now the first big feature we have got on Android 15 Beta 2 is the private space. Using this feature, we will be able to hide the applications and files inside a private space, which is just amazing. This is something similar to secure folder, which we already have on the Samsung Galaxy phones, but that happens through a secure folder application. Here, the private space has been embedded into the system settings itself. To create a private space, all you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on security and privacy. Here, when you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you you can see private space just tap on that enter the password here it is it says hide or lock private space in a separate space use a dedicated google account for extra security so it's better to use a dedicated google account not the one which you already have on the uh, normal space on the phone for a private space have a different account so that it can be more secure it just takes a few seconds to create a private space once it's all set tap on and done now to find the private space all you need to do is on the app tray just scroll all the way down you will see this bar private just tap on that to open the private space. You see it just expands to show this private space here. And if you want to add the applications or files, you can just tap on this plus button here. A very useful feature which is now available on Android 15 on the Pixel phones, and it'll come to many other Android phones. The next change on the Android 15 Beta 2 is the brand new volume panel. Now you see when you open the volume panel and tap on this three dot button here, it expands to this horizontal volume bars. We have got all the volume bars here for media call, ring, notification, and alarm with material U theming here. And we have got these dots here on the extreme right by tapping on which you can straight away reach to the maximum level of volumes. And if you tap on these icons here, it'll straight away go to the minimum volume. And you can just tap on this arrow button here to minimize this panel. And you can tap on it again to expand this panel. The only issue here is this covers almost the entire screen, which will not let us see anything which is going on in the background. But anyways, it looks pretty cool. The next improvement on Android 15 Beta 2 is the PI PIP mode. The PIP mode has been improved and it is much more smoother than before. Let me just open YouTube and play this video and go to PIP mode. You see it is smoother than before. It just uh, expands smoothly and it shrinks very smoothly. So the PIP mode has been improved here. Now on Android 15, the predictive back gesture has been turned on by default. Earlier we had to enable this in the developer settings. Now the predictive back gesture is enabled by default. As you can see, I will just go to any of the settings here. Now, when I'm going back, you see the predictive back gesture is already enabled by default. You'll be able to see the uh, preview of the previous page when you swipe from the right or left. This is the predictive back gesture now available by default. Now, there is some changes in the widget section as well. When we press and hold on the home screen and go to widgets, you will see the preview of these widgets. Uh, you can just swipe left or right. And when you tap on a widget, you get a add button here right below that widget. We don't really have to press and hold on the widget to uh, add the widget on the home screen. We can just tap on a particular widget and uh, uh, tap on this add button to directly add it to the home screen and we are also going to get the uh, personalized widget preview in the widget picker menu this allows us to see how the widget will look before adding it to the home screen so that feature will also land very very soon the next feature is application pair now let's say you are using two different applications in split screen view all you can do is just tap on the uh, icon on the top you get to see this app pair option just tap on that to add the application pair on the home screen whenever you want to open two different applications in a split screen you can just create an app pair and tap on that app pair icon on the home screen to open these applications in split screen this is a brilliant feature which is already available on samsung galaxy phones and now it has arrived on android 15 on the other phone next we have got something called theft protection feature if anybody snatches the phone from your hand the phone will detect that and automatically it will lock the phone so the person who has snatched your phone will not be able to access your phone that is a fantastic security feature we have got now on android 15. android 15 will also improve the battery life by changing the foreground services generally the applications are kept active in the foreground services but now on android 15 it will be limited to six hours after six hours the foreground services for the applications will stop thereby improving the battery life then we also have fast app launches and system performance on android 15 and google also announced that we will get improved gaming performance on android 15. these are some of the new features which we have got on android 15 beta 2. i have already discussed the other features which we received on beta 1. if you have missed that video i will link it up in the description you can go ahead and check that out as soon as we have the stable version of android 15 i will post a video letting you guys all the new features that we have got on the stable version of android 15 so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful thanks for watching my name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.